De Minutes nummer 1509 met een uitzending van vandaag, 29 december 2018. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. The major part of this bulletin will be in English. Gisteren ben ik nog een dag wegens gezondheidsproblemen uitgevallen met de Daily Minutes. Vandaag ben ik er weer een beetje krakkemikkig nog, maar dat komt vast snel goed. DRM via Slowscan Radio deed het vandaag niet goed. Ik weet niet waar het nou aan lag, maar zelf ontving ik alleen maar fragmenten. En die waren niet tot een afbeelding samen te voegen. Waarschijnlijk moet ik nog wat met de instellingen aan de gang. Als data begin ik vandaag met twee SSTV-plaatjes en daarna zes afbeeldingen in verschillende groottes in DRM om nog maar eens te testen. In deze uitzending het wekelijks bulletin van WIA in Australië. Een boeiende uitzending dit keer. Deze week zijn er geen bulletins van de RGB en de ERRL. Het is dus een beetje improviseren dit weekend. From Australia, this is VK1 WIA and the weekly WIA amateur radio news service on RF, internet streaming and text at wia.org.au. Hello there, I'm Graham, VK4BB. This is the WIA National News for week commencing December 30, 2018. Although some three broadcasts since our last WIA board comment, when President Justin, VK7 Tango Whiskey, brought us up to speed on WIA activity, a Christmas message from the board was posted on the main wia.org.au site. Have a read after this audio news concludes today at wia.org.au. Also news from the WIA, which is up on WIA front page news site, includes Asia Pacific Telecommunity Conference Preparatory Group APG 19-4, taking place in South Korea January 7-12, to and among items to be discussed and a plan worked out for WRC 19 agenda items of amateur radio interest are 1.1, that deals with 50 MHz, and 9.1.6, wireless power transfer. Five weeks ago on this WIA National News, WIA Director Secretary Peter VK8ZZ called for a special volunteer. Peter Pockney, VK2 EMR, answered that call from the WIA and, armed with a depth of skills, knowledge and experience, when it was announced VK2 EMR was going to represent the WIA at this meeting in Korea, the Australian Government Head of Delegation invited Peter as part of the delegation because of the level of Peter's experience so impressing them He was invited to take on the role of negotiator and provide expert advice on agenda item 1.1. Again, read the entire story on wia.org.au. When peace was brought to the handbands. Penned by the WIA is another story, this on the special event calls PEACE. More than 40 countries across the world were worked by the Armistice Centenary Special Event Stations, logging a total of 2,721 contacts, 23 first operators being involved, supported by many helpers in putting this the commemorative call sign to air. The WIA board thanked Fred Swainston, VK3DAC, VK4FE, for managing this special event. Another item from the WIA on the news release section at wia.org.au is the announcement of the Michael J. Owen Distinction Medal, which will be presented in recognition of services to the amateur radio community and the WIA. Michael was responsible for significant reform of the WIA, was well known across the ACMA and had worked closely with many staff on a range of issues. In WRC 2003, he was responsible for Article 25. That included the abolition of mandatory Morse code, a freeing up of amateur radio involvement in emergency communication and third-party traffic. Again, as with all these important WIA matters, read them in full on the news release pages at wia.org.au Across Australia from VK1 WIA you're tuned to the WIA National News Service which can be heard in the ACT and Canberra region through our Mount Janini repeaters on 146.950 and 438.050 every Sunday at 0900 local on behalf of the Canberra Region Amateur Radio Club broadcast team, this is Amanda 
VK1WX. International news with thanks to IARU, RSGB, SARL, Southgate Amateur Radio Club, ARRL, RAC, NZART, Amateur Radio Newsline and the worldwide sources of the WIA. I'm Jason, VK2LAW. Radio Ham's ready to support tsunami relief efforts. Please be informed that the tsunami that happened on the evening of December 22nd around 21.30 local time has hams at the ready. At least 400 people have been killed and thousands injured after a tsunami hit the coast around Indonesia's Sundra Strait, government officials say. The country's disaster management agency says people are missing and hundreds of buildings were damaged. It says the possible cause of the tsunami were undersea landslides after the Krakatoa volcano erupted. The Sundra Strait between the islands of Java and Sumatra connects the Java Sea to the Indian Ocean. The deaths were reported in the Pandeglang, South Lampung and Serang regions. The Disaster Management Agency warned that the death toll is still likely to rise, adding that the high seas as a result of the full moon may have also contributed to the strength of the waves. Ham Radio in Banten Province has already taken position to support the MCOM. Emergency frequency for HF will use 7.110 MHz. News from Austria. Concerns of amateur radio are heard. The Austrian National Radio Society, OVSV, reports the relationship between the OVSV and the Federal Ministry of Transport, Innovation and Technology has been put on a new and good basis. OVSV say, following the settlement of the differences surrounding the new Telecommunications Act, TKG, the commitment of the Cabinet of Minister Hoffer and the appreciation of both sides once again provided a good basis for discussion between the Austrian Experimental Broadcaster Association, OVSV, and the Federal Ministry of Transport, Innovation and Technology, BMVIT. There are ongoing polls to ensure the operation of the amateur radio service in Austria in the long term in the legal framework. Dramatic power reduction on 23 centimetres for Belgium radio hams. The Belgium regulator BIPT has proposed cutting to just 20 watts the permitted power levels for the amateur and amateur satellite allocations in 1260 to 1300 megahertz, which is used by Galileo GPS. Germany on 70 megahertz in 2019. German radio amateurs may operate from their home with all modes in the frequency segment 70.150 to 70.2 MHz from now until the end of 2019 with maximum 25 watts PEP, maximum bandwidth 12 kHz with a horizontal antenna. In 2018, access was granted only from May until the end of August within 70.150 to 70.180 MHz. Following as a report in the killing earlier this year of Henry Allen Strange, Whiskey Alpha 6 Romeo X-Ray Zulu from California. Police have charged a United States Marine officer with murder six months after the ham radio operator's body was found June 2nd in a shallow grave in Joshua Tree National Park. The accused and his girlfriend had initially been arrested in August, but prosecutors declined to prosecute the case and the couple was released. Following the discovery of new information, the accused has been arraigned on the felony charge and is being held in lieu of $1 million bail. Whiskey Alpha 6 Romeo X-Ray Zulu was 54 years old at the time of his killing. Captive Audience, Christmas at Prisons, a special Christmas Day radio program to the Catalan political prisoners was broadcasted on December 25th. The program has been recorded by a team of volunteers who work at FM radio stations. The goal was to send Christmas best wishes to Catalan political prisoners who are on pre-trial detention for more than one year. The program was broadcast by local radio stations closest to prisons. The program included relatives and friends of the prisoners who explained how they usually celebrate the Christmas season as well as 60 celebrities sending them warm hugs. EU Directive on Car Radios A new EU Directive requires all new car radios sold in the European Union to be capable of receiving digital terrestrial radio. Radio World reports in the last six weeks the European Parliament and the European Council have adopted the new European Electronic Communications Code. 
This directive requires all new car radios sold in the European Union to be capable of receiving digital terrestrial radio, in addition to any AM or FM functionality which manufacturers may want to include. The code also grants EU member states the power to introduce rules requiring consumer radios to include digital capability. For WIA National News in Sydney, I'm Jason, VK2LAW. From Australia, this is VK1WIA and the weekly WIA amateur radio news service on RF, internet streaming and text at wia.org.au. AM radio operational news is a contact sport. I'm Felix VK 4 fuq All the major Australian contest rules and results are on the contest section of the WIA website. 2019. Inaugural Green Keys Night Set for New Year's Day, January 1. NZART Portable Activity Day, New Year's Day. AWL Radio Roundup, January 5 and 6. This contest will, for the first time, permit the use of FT8 as well as traditional RITI. Summer VHF UHF Field Day, Saturday 12 and Sunday 13 January. John Moore Field Day is March 17 and 18. 20th Harangel Memorial Sprint, May 4. Trans Tasman Labian Contest, July 20. VK Roman State Contest is August 17 and 18. The IAU, which sponsors the World Talk Contest Award, has made it clear it does not sponsor a 5 MHz 60 metres endorsement. All IAU member societies, please note. The IAA Work Law Collins Award is not available with an endorsement for 5 MHz. An IAA announcement from IAA Secretary David Sumner, K1ZZ, said, The only band endorsements currently available are for 160, 80, 6 and 2 metres as well as 70 and 23 centimetres. The question arose after an individual displaying a purported IAA WAC 5 MHz award certificate on QRZ.com said other IAA member societies have been issuing WAC certificates bearing a 5 MHz endorsement under IAA auspices. Ordinarily, an AWR member would apply for the award through the league, but this individual's membership had lapsed. He apparently looked elsewhere. AWR told the individual that an award displayed over David Sumner's signature does not match the awards we issue from AWRL, nor can we find any application that was submitted for such an award. AWL issues no specific awards for 60 metres. Dave Sumner did say the WAC endorsements for 135.7 kHz and 472 kHz would be available shortly, however. Worked All Britain turns 50. 2019 marks the 50th anniversary of the Worked All Britain Awards Group. To mark the occasion, three new awards will be introduced for 2019 only. In conjunction with the new awards, GB50 WAB will run throughout this year along with a number of other regional special event stations. This commences on the 1st of January, with GB50 WAB for two weeks from C62 in Northern Ireland, and GB9 WAB for four weeks from SK51 in Leicestershire. Through the DX window, Colombian special event. Look for special event station 5K6RM to be active during the Manizales Fair between January the 5th and 12th. This activity is to commemorate and promote the fair. Operations will be on 160 to 2 metres using CW, SSB and digital modes. QSL via direct, by the Bureau, LOTW or EQSL. Antarctica Op Felix, DL5XL operates once more as DP1POL from the station, 9 mi 3, AN016, WWLOC, IB59UH QRV until the end of February 2019 on HF mostly on CW and digital modes QSL via DL1VZO DF13 German Special Event Look for special event station with the prefixes DF13 to be active between January the 1st and June the 30th 2019 Activities to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the maiden flight of the Junkers F13 the mother of all commercial aircraft all QSOs will be automatically confirmed after July 15th, 2019, with a QSL card via the Bureau. If you do not need a QSL card, let them know. This saves their money and time. Send direct QSLs via DM to TO cards. Masada Fortress Special Event This Weekend Members of the Holy Land DX Group will operate from the heart of Masada Fortress 
as 4x0 in between January the 4th and 6th, 2019. Built by King Herod the Great, Masada was designated the UNESCO World Heritage in 2001. From a strategic perch in the Judean Desert overlooking the Dead Sea, this historically famous palace fortress is one of the most visited tourist sites in all of Israel. Activity will start on Friday, January the 4th at 0730 UTC and close down on Sunday, January the 6th at 0600 hours UTC. 8 of the 10 minutes using CW and SSB. QSL manager is Antonello, IK2DUW. Sri Lanka, 4S. Peter, DC0KK is QRV is 4S7KKG for Maragalla. IOTA, AS003. Until April 1, 2019. Activities on the HF bands using mainly CW in various digital modes. Andre, ON7YK is active from a station in Gambia using the call sign C5YK. He will be there until early March 2019. QSL to his home call ON7YK. Well, Happy New Year everybody. For VK1WIA National News, I'm Felix, VK4FUQ Inningham. Across Australia from VK1WIA, you're tuned to the WIA National News Service in the Northern Territory. And you can be heard on the repeaters 146900, 146950, or and or frequencies 14.33, 10.337, 10.133, 10.155, and I am Carl with a K. Call sign Victor Kilo HIL for whiskey. Hello, I'm Cole, VK3GTV, with this week's Worldwide Special Interest Group News. And first of all, we take a look at females in radio. The Indian Institute of Hams, which marked their Silver Jubilee year in 2018, is jointly hosting Hamfest India with REVA University in the Silicon City of Bengaluru this weekend, the 29th and 30th of December. One of the highlights of the two-day event is a YL forum taking place on the morning of the second day. Everything from satellites to software-defined radio will be covered in the program on the private university's campus. Worldwide Special Interest Group's Final Frontier AO85 update. Drew Glassbrenner, KO4MA Vice President Operations, published the following on AO85 status as of December 19, 2018. He said AO85 has had issues recently with the batteries dropping precariously low during eclipse and thinks it's likely the batteries suffered degradation due to heat during previous periods of no eclipses, making it difficult to keep the satellite available for use without endangering the batteries. He said the nominally 3.6 volt pack was down to 2.8 volts at the end of the eclipse, which is dangerously low. In an effort to extend the usable life of the satellite, both the IHU and the transmitter have been turned off, ceasing all transmissions, including the beacons, every two minutes in both sunlit and eclipse parts of the orbit. They will periodically turn the satellite back on for an orbit or two in order to gather telemetry. And if all goes as planned, the repeater will be turned back on during the next period of no eclipses beginning around January 24th. Worldwide Special Interest Group's IOTA AF019. Drago S59A will be active as IG9 stroke S59A from Lampedusa Island between January 21st and 31st, 2019. Activity will be on 160 through to 10 metres and will include the CQWWDX 160 metre CW contest between January 25 and 27 as a multi op entry. QSL via Drago's home call sign. S59A. Worldwide Special Interest Group's Radio Amateur Young Timers, New Yota Summer Camp announced. The IARU has announced the next annual Youngsters on the Air Summer Camp, which will take place in Bulgaria, close to the capital city, Sofia. The Bulgarian Federation of Radio Amateurs will be hosting the event. The RSGB plan to send a team to the event, and applications for the UK team leader and team members will be invited in due course. Worldwide Special Interest Groups, VHF and above, the plumber's delight. Germany, Class E use of 2.3 and 5 gigahertz bands extended. The DARC says the 2018 access rules for the 2.3 and 5 gigahertz bands for holders of a Class E license were renewed for 2019. 
A survey confirmed the high level of interest of Class E license holders in accessing Hamnet and other uses for these bands. The Roundtable Amateur Radio, RTA, thanked all those involved in Germany's Frequency Management and Federal Network Agency for their assistance. Class E is currently the lowest level class of license in Germany. And in closing the final Worldwide Special Interest Group news for 2018, I'd like to pass on my thanks to Graham, VK4BB, for his efforts editing and anchoring the VK1WIA National News, along with all the other editorial, presentation, production crews and contributors behind the scenes who make it all possible, and of course to you, our listeners and fellow amateurs. I'm Cole, VK3GTV, wishing you a happy and safe 2019. This is VK1WIA. All points of contacts from today's news stories are to be found in print when you read the web editions, www.wia.org.au. Well, what with it being the end of 2018, let's look at the 2019 social scene. VK4, Tark Australia Day Long Weekend Family Radio Camp, January 24 to 28. VK2, the Wyong Field Day, February 24. VK7, Meet the Voice event at Ross, March 23 to 24. VK4 Redfest 2019, April 13. VK5 BRL Radio Group Annual Gathering, Overland Corner, South Australia, April 6. And VK3 the Ballarat Amateur Radio Group's Barg Hamvention, October 27. Now till next we meet, walk softly but you are entitled to make a little racket New Year's Eve. I'm Graham, VK4BB. From Australia, this has been VK1 WIA and the weekly WIA amateur radio news service. On RF, we thank our rebroadcast team and you for listening. And remember, internet streaming and text of this news is available 24-7 at wia.org.au. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x, xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshop.nl. 70 mhzshop.nl
En microfoon naar de tour.